completely demolish your backyard to have an updated look. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to stencil your concrete patio and make something so ugly look beautiful. Stay tuned. So once the fence was finally put up and I had my privacy, the next order of business was to try to at least make the horrible old and stained concrete look a little bit nicer. Now it wasn't still in good condition, but it just, it was like old and dingy. And so I didn't want to go and replace that because uh, it was already pricey to get the fence up as you guys can go and research and figure that out. So I was trying to be a little bit more economical and I decided to look up um, how to paint the patio. Now it's easy to just put one color down, but then I started thinking, well, what if I did a pattern that would look really, really cool. And I've always been inspired by like, you know, just those Moroccan tiles and even the Mediterranean style um, tiles or even um, just like the English tea garden. So I was looking on for stencils on concrete and this is what I found on Pinterest. And I really, really thought that that would make that patio look amazing and fire, right? So I started looking for a pattern and I found this uh, geometric pattern on uh, this website called Cutting Edge, Cutting, Cutting Edge Stencils. And there were so many things. As soon as you go on this website, you're like overwhelmed. I, at least I was, cause it just like goes on and on and on and on until I came across something very simple and it's called the tea house trellis all over stencil. And I thought this would be timeless. I could always um, switch it up if I want to later on. Um, but I started looking at it and they had it on the walls and I was like, I don't know, would it look nice on the floor? And then I found, bam, this picture right here. And this was where my inspiration came from. So I wanted to do this in my patio and I didn't know how it would look but I thought this looks really beautiful here. I can only imagine how it would look like if I did it in this color scheme um, in my patio. So let's get started. You need two colors. You need, um, well, I just chose this kind of, uh, it mimicked this picture, but I chose gray and white. So here's where the process begins. Um, I did not film myself cleaning the patio, but there are a few steps before prepping before you can actually go ahead and paint like I am right now with the first coat. The first step would be to buy an etching powder and the etching powder basically is like sanding for concrete. It removes uh, any layer of dirt and also this kind of makes the texture of the concrete a little bit more rough so that the paint can stick. Uh, you, you can buy that in powder form and I'll link it in, in the description. But then the second step is to buy a concrete primer. And it is not what you see me painting here. This is the first coat. But the concrete primer, basically what it does is soaks into the concrete so that when you do paint like I am right now, um, you'll be it'll be able to last longer and won't peel up. This uh, particular paint, I ended up actually needing to get more so you don't really see me finish the first coat because I had to go to Home Depot and, and buy it again but um, it is great I only needed one coat and it came out looking like this um, but I did have an extra can which I did end up needing for touching up later please be mindful that you need to purchase patio or concrete paint depending on what you're painting on if you have a wood surface you should talk to Home Depot or your home improvement store on what particular paint you should use. I used concrete paint. The next step is to create an X like I am here because I wanted to find the center point. I wanted to make sure that where I placed my first tile was in the line of sight of the center of my patio. I could have started on the edges but I feared that if I did, it would be off center. So what I did was I took the tape and I made an X and that would form the actual center point. Funny story here, uh, I forgot to charge my blower and there are massive trees that wanted to 
uh, have all these little these little things. I don't even know what they're called from the leaves all over my patio, and I cleaned it like 400 times. And here I am having to do it by hand. Just a side note. Yeah, so you want to make sure that there's no like uh, even after you paint. You want to make sure that there are no items or you know like little debris and stuff on it. And remember this isn't exact so here I am I'm like okay let me just place it in the middle now that I know where, exactly where the center point is and I was like it doesn't have to be perfect it just I just needed to know roughly where the center point was going to be but of course here I am fidgeting because I was like I was definitely afraid for something to be crooked so I kept getting up and moving it around I reused the cheap tape from the Dollar Tree as you can see here and like you're like at this point like Franca why didn't you just take out the tape now um well I just wanted to make sure that it was straight and then you'll see me move the, remove the tape later I don't know when you're in it you kind of figure it out as you go here I am not satisfied so I am fixing it and stepping back as anyone who is a perfectionist like me is constantly doing. I did this like four times. I didn't want to cut it out because I found it to be funny. I hope you're laughing with me. If you're not, then I don't know what to tell you. I thought it was funny. Here I go one more time. Looking back, it's kind of ridiculous. But I found the center point and I started with a roller, which was not the best choice. You're going to see why. <laughs> So I started with the roller and I thought this would make the process go faster, but it ended up being too light. Now, there are many ways to go about this. You can get a stencil brush. I did not have one. I had just a regular brush, which worked anyway. But um, see, this is why I should have taken the tape out. But we all learn. And as a teacher, I always tell this to my students. Sometimes it, the best learning experience is to do something and figure it out as you go and as you can see that's what i'm doing i'm rolling it and even though this was my first placement i did i did like the way that this stencil works and ideally um i really wish i would have practiced a little bit more so i wouldn't have had any uh you know, moving of the, the stencil because you can see there that it's not exactly perfect. So keep that in mind. You end up having to line up the previous edges or corners with the first um, stencil placement. So if that makes sense, like each corner will create the guide for the next corner for where you place the next tile, so to speak. So now I switched to a brush um, and I stippled the paint on because I felt like the first, um, the first stencil that I did, it was way too light. And I was being cautious because I didn't know and it was my first time, but by the end of it, I was slathering it on. So here I am with the brush, hoping that I did not smudge anything and it just so happened that I did. <laughs> but it's all okay because if you plan on everything being perfect, believe me, you're gonna have to go back and touch up, which I'll show you in a minute what I mean. So I continued with this method for the rest of the entire patio, and I actually thought that this worked the best using uh, this paintbrush. And this also was from, uh, and it's a, an expensive paintbrush, I don't think it was from Dollar Tree. I think I purchased this at Home Depot, but it did help quite a bit with the, um, the stencil. Okay, so here I am 
taking off the stencil and whoa that was such a big difference if you can see so here i am again lining up the edges with the previous pattern or stencil that i had done remember the corners uh they match up and then you can place your next uh tile so to speak where you want it to go if you follow the guides the pattern just forms itself and you, it's really not that hard once you figure it out and all the instructions on the uh, the stencil will help you because it gives you a bunch of information on how to do it but if you follow me you pretty much it's really not hard um, so here I am a little getting a little bit more comfortable that was my puppy she just sneezed but here I am stippling away now this looks like it's a quick process but it really took it took quite a bit of time so if you're in a rush and you need this right away please plan in advance because it does take a couple of hours and if you have the budget to do so I would recommend purchasing an additional stencil so you could work with another person or a partner and you both can you know hash this out but I was doing it by myself and as you can see that third one looks the bomb <laughs> the bomb.com uh, this is where you got to be careful you see how I am shifting it you don't want to shift once you place it down you don't want to shift because what ends up happening which I learned is when you shift it the paint that you had just stippled on the previous stencil kind of goes underneath the stencil and then what you're going to end up having to do is to touch up which you know what you're going to probably have to do i am going to prepare you to let you know that that's probably something that you have to accomplish <music> Um, this was getting towards the end of the day and then you will see a picture of all the progress I did with day one and then it took it took about two days to follow the same procedure uh, and then another day of touching up so what I mean by touching up was there were parts where you could see like even this first tile here you could see the the transfer or this you know the the smudging of the stencil and what I did was I got a small brush and use the gray paint to kind of align and make sure that everything was neat and to my liking. So this was the before, just a reminder, and then this is the after. you can really update your backyard with a little bit of paint creativity and patience now if you like to see other videos like this one or you would like for me to decorate my patio please hit the subscribe button and i will be posting other flips sometime soon take care see you in my next video